What's up, there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. If you guys haven't heard, um, apparently the U2 um, uh, rover, China's U2 rover, is on is on the move again. Um, apparently, it happened over the weekend. Now, keep in mind, I only had my um, the other video I just made is almost two days ago, um, and prior to that, I was gone for five, six days because my, like I said, uh, my daughter was up uh, from out of state. Um, so I was on vacation, so to speak. I kind of took a little uh, vacation from the computer. But anyway, apparently over the weekend, uh, it was woken up, and uh, which I think is pretty cool. And moon rover, uh, moon rover rather, lander wake uh, after lunar night. And you can just click on this right here, and it'll take you to this page. And uh, this is Beijing, uh, January 12th. China's moon rover U2 Jade Rabbit and a Chang 3 lander have just woke up after a period of dormancy that lasted two weeks or, <clears throat> excuse me, one lunar night in a move designed to uh, write out harsh climactic conditions. Uh, U2 was awakened uh, autonomously, uh, or automatically, depending on which we you like, at uh, 5.09 a.m. Beijing time on Saturday and has finished necessary setting procedures in uh, and entered a normal working mode following orders from the Beijing Aerospace Control Center, or BACC, according to the statement issued by the BACC on Sat uh, Sunday. rather. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, that's why we haven't been hearing anything. Um, I think it was on the 26th, um, uh, it shut down, um, you know, uh, went into a sleep, so to speak. Uh, <coughs> uh, Chang 3 has also awakened automatically at uh, 8.21 a.m. on Sunday and is currently in normal condition, the statement said. One night on the moon lasts about 14 days on Earth, during which the temperatures falls. Um, yeah, the temperature falls below minus 180 degrees Celsius, and there is no sunlight to provide power to the instrument's solar panels. Um, but keep in mind, they do have. I believe they said it's uh, fitted with uh, two radioisotope heaters uh, to keep everything from really getting really super cold on this uh, little rover. So this way, nothing really breaks down, so to speak, and malfunctions. Um, during the lunar night, the lander and the rover were in a power-off condition, and the communication with Earth was also cut off," said Zhao Zhengling. I don't even, I don't know if I'm, I, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not pronouncing that right. Chief engineer of BCC. When the night ends, there will there will be a start up <coughs> with the power provided by sunlight and resume operation and communication according to preset program. Zhao said, "The awakening of the rover and lander marks the success of Chinese technology in surviving the lunar night." and the center will instruct the two instruments to carry on scheduled exploration missions, the chief engineer added. Chang-3 soft landed on the moon's Sinus Iridium, or Bay of Rainbows, on December uh, 14th. I'm sorry, I don't know why I got, where I got 20. Oh, right there. Uh, the rover fell asleep, okay. Uh, on December 14th last year, and you two uh, later separated from the lander. The rover, yeah, I was right. All right, the rover fell asleep on December 26th as the mission's first lunar night arrived. And, of course, they got other stuff that led up to this point. See, the 24th, the 23rd, so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, guys, I'm really optimistic. I'm pretty stoked about this because here's the thing. Even though I, I go after these guys to try to find, you know, um, you know, uh, faults in their pitches, I'm still, as a whole, excited because here's the thing. It's still a, another step for mankind. No matter how you look at it, you know, some people say, well, we're not on the moon, or we haven't been, rather, um, and neither is China. Yeah, I believe we both have, and, uh, you know, there's been, you know, uh, we've been there multiple times, and now they're doing their thing. So, um, what they're hiding on it in their pitches is a whole different story. That is what I have doubt about. As far as the landing there, we've been on the moon, we've uh, had our own lunar vehicles, and, of course, our astronauts and everything else, of course, you know, we've been there. Um it's just what they're going out of the way to hide. That's you know that's where I think it's you know dishonest and you know things like that. But nevertheless, I'm still a huge space fan. I love this stuff and the, and the idea that we had the technology to do this and what they're coming out with is just amazing. Um, and you know so uh, there's more and more uh, countries getting geared up to go to Mars and either put orbiters on there. Uh, I mean around uh, Mars itself uh, in orbit. Uh, so on and so forth. So I think that's pretty wild. I mean, you know, um, I look forward to it. I mean, you know, and then they want to put, um, uh, I don't know if they were sent, I don't know if it's, I don't know, guys, I'm getting conflicting things. You know, some people say uh, that they want to start colonizing in 2018. 
in some, I think it said 2023 or 2024. Um, you know, it, I guess it depends on uh, the project or who's building the projects in order to go there. So um, either way, I mean, in the future, it's got some wild stuff. Even if, you know, uh, there isn't too much happening right now, uh, there will be, um, you know, and there's still always stuff to find. I've got tons of stuff I've just started to go through on my uh, external hard drive. So I got a, quite a bit of things to cover myself. Some, uh, but just rest assured, I, I definitely keep an eye on um, the uh, what's going on here at the uh, uh, Chinese uh you know what do you call it there uh, aerospace uh control center um you know and as far as uh what's going on in mars i try to stay uh on top of this stuff so bring it to you guys so um just rest assured of that and i do have other things i want to share some of the simple things like some of the i just seen a couple of the rock formations that were really really funky looking um that you don't typically see like in nature or naturally occurring so to speak so i uh, got some wild stuff coming up for you guys uh, so no problem at all but anyway guys hey like i said if you're just viewing and um you know, uh, and you haven't subscribed, please do so. I mean, you can uh, stay informed with the latest videos and see what's going on here. Um, like I said, uh, my channel is basically, it's that's, you know, basically what I'm doing is just trying to find the truth. And whether you believe or uh, agree with me on the anomalies that I find, to me, it really doesn't matter because everybody's got their own. They see things a little bit differently, and um, and I don't speak in absolutes. I don't say that these are absolutely 1,000% what it, what I'm saying it is, but you can agree. Like I said, the bottom question is, is it naturally occurring or is it intelligently made? And that's pretty much it. So um, we just try to get to the bottom of it. Everybody chimes in. Um, uh, you know, most people are just like, you know, want to know what it is. Uh, they they say what they think it is or they're just not seeing it. That's fine. Um the thing is, that's all it's about. I mean, bottom line, let's find out what it is, what they're hiding, and let's find the truth. And um, who knows, maybe I think these guys are letting this stuff slip out here and there just to uh, give us a little, uh, uh, throw us a, a bone or two every now and then just to say, hey, guys, uh, this is what we got hiding. But we're not going to really tell you that too much right now, um, you know. But, you know, in the future, they're probably just setting us up so we can have this mindset, though, if they actually do announce it, people won't be totally shocked out of their mind and basically uh, lose control. So anyway, guys, just want to do a quick video for you guys and uh, do a little rambling at the end of this. Uh, I've been blamed for doing that a little bit on some of these videos, so I'll try to keep it a little bit more short and sweet um, and right to the point. Uh, a lot of times I will go over the stuff that I started on and go over it again because sometimes people just don't quite see it and so that I want to kind of repeat and do it over again. So uh, if that's too much, I'll just go ahead and just uh, get right to the point and then that's it. So anyway, guys, like I said, Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you next pick.